Now to growing concerns about the volcano emergency in Hawaii. Geologists warning more explosion, more explosive eruptions could be coming, sending boulders and ash flying to an area that's already so devastated. ABC's Kana Whitworth has the latest. This morning, we're getting a closer look at some of the homes in the path of the Kilauea volcano eruption, where lava has poured into the streets for the past week, scorching houses and yards like this one. Over a dozen fissures have emerged over the last few days, and on Wednesday, an explosive eruption sending a torrent of ash into the sky. Our Marcy Gonzalez was there. Oh my goodness, that is just remarkable. In recent years, the volcano has been sending lava into hard to reach areas along the coastline. But in the last week, more than 15 vents have burst open, releasing lava, gas and steam inside residential neighborhoods. This right here is the biggest lava flow in Leilani Estates. This is the one that continued on for about a half mile. And as you fly over it, you can see it has taken down power poles and changed the entire landscape of this neighborhood. Underneath some 15 feet of lava rock is homes and cars. There is no sign of how far the lava will spread or when the eruption will stop. Police are now going door to door to evacuate residents near two new volcanic vents. We hope that within, you know, weeks, a month maybe, that we'll be back in here. And all of that toxic volcanic gas spreading for more than 60 miles. It's posing potentially deadly risk to everyone in the evacuation zone, especially to the elderly and those with breathing problems. It's really thick. It just makes your eyes water, your throat hurts. Um, Everything hurts, so and your lungs literally ache. So you gotta just run. Geologists are very concerned that Kilauea could erupt violently in the coming days. They say that this happens when the lava lake drops low enough to react with the groundwater. It could throw boulders out the size of cars. Michael. All right, thank you so much, Kane. I'm sure that's news, that's news no one wants to hear. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.